the ventriloquist, and her mouth was covered with a veil. That's a religious thing. You couldn't see the lips move. Also, her dummy's mouth was covered with a veil. That's true. Why would a dummy have to wear a veil in those countries? The dummy was being just as modest as Elvira would be. It was be. Elmira, not Elvira. Elmira. Another audition just came in. This is Brittany from Greenville High asking you, John Gold, would you be my prom date? We all love the buzz here, but I have like this huge crush on you. It worked for Justin Timberlake, so let me know. Oh my god. This is a huge misunderstanding. It doesn't make any sense. Did she leave any contact information? This invitation, it's demeaning. Oh boy, more stuff. Two more girls from Grainville High inviting the other two guys, the handsome ones. Yes. Nice. Is the word handsome in quotes? It's not. I know I just said just the opposite, but I'm beginning to realize... Why would they specify the handsome ones? Very flattering. Some Grainville High boys are inviting Candy and Tanya... So... Cool. That's all of us. Let's get a limo. Hey, Katie gotta get invited, too. <clears throat> it's fine. I can be, like, the mom who drives you all to the prom in the bus. Oh, no. If you ain't going, I ain't going either. I ain't gonna let my girl sit home alone. I hate proms. I wouldn't go even if I were invited. No one asked me to my senior prom. My parents made me go with my brother. I bet you made a beautiful couple. <clears throat> can we change the subject? Do you remember my date at our senior prom? As if it were yesterday, Daisy Schmidt. You two had the luster of fresh new love. Oh, that's a good memory. Except the whole thing was too fresh and new. Too fresh? Too new? Uh-uh, my friend. There's no such thing. You know, the truth is, I brought Eugenie LeBranch. Daisy was Burton's prom date. <gasps> I mean, until I stole her away. I thought I stole Eugenie from you. You know what? You were a rebound. <gasps> Uh, and I hope you can forgive me. Men, I have a serious concern about our last prom. I can barely picture it. John, I felt I was caught between a rock and a hard place. Do you remember? I'm not sure. It was the awful washing thing. It happened so suddenly, and I was always self-conscious about getting compressed. I can't be in a pit like that ever again. Just, just stick close with us. That's all. You are a great friend. This don't seem right. You not coming with us? You just be quiet and let me get these two bows the same. You twins will break some hearts tonight. That's easy to do when they're so young and fragile. What now? It looks like I just got my invitation to the prom. There you go, girl. Let's celebrate. Yeah. It's not from a student. The invite is from Gail Rosen. I don't get it. <gasps> the school principal. Does it make you uncomfortable that she's Jewish? John, I love Jewish people. I have attended four seders in my lifetime. Okay, then then how? Let me explain it. The school must have discovered that one of us wasn't asked, so they enlisted their beloved principal as a sympathy date. Mm. First I go with my brother, and now with a really nice lady who feels sorry for me. Well, what you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna stand up Ms. Rosen. That's just not Katie. Okay, that's cool. Come on, it's time. Okay, everybody, we aren't coming back to the bus, so make sure you have your purses, lipstick, mirror, emodium. Um, I would hate on. to see you panicking because your hairspray is in the backseat of the bus. Seriously. We've been on dates before. So have I. <laughs> this is gonna be a long night. Uh, Tanya, what is that thing my date's carrying? It's a lightsaber. You know, a stick of light. Now that sounds serious. Yeah, that sounds like second date stuff. Hey, l listen to this congestion. Tell me if this sounds serious. <coughs> mm. <coughs> Wait, listen to this one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I like the other one. <coughs> what, are you wondering if you should get off your feet? Don't even think about it. Remember, we all represent the bus. You know, he's right. And these kids see us as gods. Merciful. They're, they see us as gods, these kids. And I, for one, am, I gotta go back to the car. Hello. Katie, welcome to Greenville High School. Yeah. You are Gail, my prom date? I sincerely hope so. And may I have your permission to pin this corsage to your sweater? Yes. I'm 
not too good at this kind of thing. Take your time. I'm sure you'll do fine. She even has an Adam's apple. I don't think you're Jewish either. That is one good sex change operation. There's no I don't I don't think he was ever a woman. Well that's you're the cup is half full kind of a guy. I'm more of a No, I think he's a he's a regular guy. Alright, fine. Live in your little bubble. We can all hear you. There we go. That didn't hurt even a tiny teeny bit. Should we head in? Kids, ready? Your braces make you look tall. Do you participate in a lot of extracurricular activities? Raise your hands if your voice has changed since we've been here. What you doing with that thing? That is big. I've heard John come in very late at night, and it happens a lot. So maybe he can't sleep. But he is out for a couple of hours. How do you know how long he's out? Katie, let me tug your sleeve on something. You know, sometimes a man has urges. I didn't know that Deal had two E's. That's a typo. He's Nigerian. He's a prince. Promise me you won't give him money. You feel left out. No, don't meet with him. If nothing else, 